about to head out of town. So let's do this out over the bridge. established a 400-acre plantation at Red Bank along the Delaware River. This bustling plantation included fruit orchards, a lumber yard, a shad fishery, livestock, and a ferry. Together, Anne and James raised nine children who worked for the plantation, alongside dozens of other indentured servants hailing from Ireland, the Netherlands, and Germany. In 1777, the American Revolution interrupted life at Red Bank when the American forces constructed Fort Mercer immediately north of the house. On October 22, 1777, Colonel Christopher Green's Rhode Island Regiment inflicted heavy losses on Hessian soldiers and the Whittles' home served as a field hospital. Hundreds of Hessian soldiers lost their lives in the battle and were buried just north of the house. The Whittles never forgave the American forces for the devastation they inflicted on their beloved property. Well, I'm at Red Bank Battlefield today. And man, it, it's a beautiful day. It's cool out. There's a slight breeze. Red Bank Battlefield's right on the Delaware River. As I look across the Delaware, I can see Philadelphia. There's a bridge here with the Navy Yard. It's a pretty nice spot here. Red Bank Battlefield was key in the Revolutionary War. It earned its name. Red Bank Blood. That's what red stands for. Absolutely. This was a real, real key point in uh, the United States as we know it now. So, uh, I'm going to get some footage here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I enjoy documenting history in different important places. Hopefully years to come, everybody will be able to watch us at some point, somewhere, somehow. I hope YouTube sticks around for a long, long time. I'm banking on it. I certainly am. This is just beautiful out here. There's people out here running today. There, there's a park. 
You can have picnics. All sorts of wonderful spots here. I need to come out today and reflect and think. Sometimes you have to put the brakes on in life and just stop and think, you know? So that's what I'm doing today. This is very fulfilling, very fulfilling. I'm glad I have the opportunity to do this. I know not everybody lives in beautiful areas. I'm so glad I live in the United States though, without a doubt. And I can thank all of our forefathers that fought for that. Fought for our rights to live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. So that's what this park is all about. It was a battlefield. It was a battle for the land. And the brave were doing it. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. The Battle of Red Bank. October 22nd, 1777, was a battle of the American Revolutionary War in which a Hessian force was sent to take Fort Mercer on the left bank or New Jersey side of the Delaware River just south of Philadelphia, but was decisively defeated by a far inferior force of Colonel Defenders. After the capture of Philadelphia on September 26, 1777, and the failure of the American surprise attack against the British camp at the Battle of Germantown on October 4th, the Americans tried to deny the British use of the city by blockading the Delaware River. To that end, two forts were constructed commanding the river. One was Fort Mercer on the New Jersey side at the Red Bank Plantation in which was then part of Deptford Township, now National Park, New Jersey. The other was Fort Mifflin on Mud Island in the Delaware River, just south of the confluence of the Schuylkill River on the Pennsylvania side opposite Fort Mercer. So long as the Americans held both forts, British Navy ships could not reach Philadelphia to resupply the army. In addition to the forts, the Americans possessed a small flotilla of Continental Navy ships on the Delaware supplemented by the Pennsylvania State Navy all under the command of Commodore John Hazelwood. On October 18th, General Sir William Howe, the commander of the British Army, evacuated his camp at Germantown and pulled his forces inside the city of Philadelphia. He sent a part of his force to capture the two American forts, denying him use of the Delaware River. Earlier, Howe had sent a group of men via Webb's Ferry at the mouth of the Schuylkill River to Marcy Providence Island, which is actually on the Pennsylvania mainland by Mud Island, to construct artillery batteries to bombard Fort Mifflin. The first bombardment of Fort Mifflin came on October 11th. This was merely a desultory attack which convinced the British to expand and improve their batteries. Meanwhile, 2,000 Hessian troops under the command of Colonel Carl Von Dunop landed at Cooper's Ferry in Camden, New Jersey, about four miles upriver from Fort Mercer, and made preparations to attack the fort, located on the high ground at Red Bank. The Hessian army reported casualties of 377 killed and wounded with 20 missing or captured while the Americans reported their losses at 14 killed and 27 wounded. 
Today the site of the Battle of Red Bank is part of the Gloucester County Park System called Red Bank Battlefield Park. The 44-acre park is open to visitors during daylight hours. The Whittle House may be visited during more limited hours. An annual reenactment of the battle takes place on the park's ground in October. In the early 1980s, a lifeguard was on duty and swimming was permitted in the Delaware River. Stripes and bra